Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Find, where we show you something you might have missed on Ancestry.com in five minutes or less. Today's topic, yearbook photos. Oh, embarrassing yearbook photos. First, you need to be able to find them. If you go to our card catalog and type yearbooks into the title, you'll see U.S. school yearbooks. We have over 26 million yearbook pages. If you mouse over the title, you get a little bit more information. You'll notice that we have yearbooks from 1880 to 2012, and we last updated this collection in August of 2014. So there's so always something new, and you never know what you might find. When you get to the yearbook page, of course you can type in a name and a location and search that way. Or you may want to browse and see what we have. We don't have every yearbook, and we don't have them for every year. Over here on the right, you'll notice you can search by state, city, school name, and then you'll see a list of years. In a minute, I'm going to look for my grandfather and my father in Lexington, so this is a useful place for me to search. This is one of the few collections where you might find yourself and a few other living people. So I typed in my name, and I found myself in my freshman college picture. And this is the embarrassing part. What is going on with that hair there? But Take a look and see if you could revive a few old memories of your past. Next, I went looking for my dad and I found him in his college fraternity picture. It's a good picture of my dad. Next, I went looking for my mom and I found her in her high school photo. She's listed as most attractive. It's a great picture of her too. Now on this one, I didn't find her in a straight search. I had to browse for that. Remember, yearbooks are what we call OCR or optical character recognition. And sometimes that technology, the computer scanning the text, doesn't work as well as we might like. So if you think your parent, your grandparent, your great-grandparent is in there, make sure that you actually go look for the specific school or city and the specific year. Next up, I look for my grandfather, Gilbert Gillespie. Or, as I can tell from this yearbook page, his nickname was Gilly. And if you look over on the right, this was obviously a scan of a yearbook that belonged to a friend, and he'd autographed it and signed his name. Think about that. I have something he wrote in a yearbook from 1934. What a find. Great picture of him, too. And I know he was cheerful, reliable, and businesslike. I also went looking through the rest of that yearbook, and I found a few other interesting things. I found out he was class secretary. I paged through a little more and I found a picture of the high school. That's pretty interesting and really good to put in a story or a blog post. And I also found this gem, this supposed conversation between my grandfather and one of his professors. Mr. Thompson, if there are any dumbbells in this room, please stand up. A long pause and then Gilbert Gillespie stood up. Mr. Thompson, what? Do you consider yourself a dumbbell? Gilbert, well, not exactly, sir but I hate to see you standing all alone. That doesn't surprise me that my grandfather might have done that. I also found out in 1934, he was voted most dependable in his class, at least the most dependable male. It's pretty fun. So go take a look in the yearbooks. It's that extra color about your ancestors and probably more recent ones that you may not have. You never know unless you look. This has been 5 Minute Find. It's time for embarrassing yearbook photos with Anne Gillespie Mitchell. Happy searching!